The earliest versions of the camera have been known to have existed from 300 BC, where even philosophers like Aristotle were actually looking at how they can capture light onto a background uh, plate and be able to use that for looking at scenes. The earliest forms of the camera started appearing in mid-1800s, and this is one of the traditional classic examples of a camera where basically a box with a, a lens or an optical uh, capturing device, which could be a pinhole, was used to generate images. Uh, then, of course, came various types of processes where you could now be able to save those images onto print forms, and this is various types of printing mechanisms that started in the early 1900s. 1948 is where we started getting more of these compact representations. 1986, perhaps, is when we start seeing examples of these disposable cameras. This is an instance of a first-generation digital uh, single-lens reflex SLR camera, a professional camera that was a digital camera, came about in early 1990s. And this was about the one to 2-megapixel uh, resolution image and more interesting thing was when I started my career on research and computational photography, this camera was available for about $25,000. And I actually got access to uh, going to the lab to be able to use this, take a few pictures so I can actually start get, uh, playing around with the images that came from these specialized cameras. Of course, 2000 is where the first generation of mobile cell phone cameras started coming about. So if you really think about it, we've gone a long way where first instance of a real camera that actually was into a form that we think of a camera to be in right now was in mid to early 1800s to where we are now. And of course, cameras have taken very interesting shapes and forms since then. Interesting things to note now is cameras can be really small just a few examples, as small as a pencil, or even as, you know, small enough to be on uh, your, just your fingertip. Most popular cameras that you see these days are, of course, the cell phone cameras. Uh, they provide a good resolution. We've played around with them a lot, I'm sure. And, of course, these days, uh, people wearing them in different forms, uh, including, of course, much more wearable cameras like this one. One thing I'd like to note is one of the other things that has changed is how we interact with these cameras. In the old days when we had the cameras in much more of a bigger form factor, we had much more of a uh, formal relationship where we basically used the tripods and all that kind of stuff. Then we went to much more of a stand-up. But if you notice, most of our camera interaction is much more now uh, stand away and you know we use viewfinders to be able to see it and it's become more casual. So we've gone from more formal types of photography to more casual photography more and more now.